All right, okay, I think we're live now. Hello everybody, welcome to another last minute live stream. Hopefully we're live. I can't tell if it's actually going live or not. Um, I'm outside, uh, I'm in Westminster as usual, as you can see. Getting close to Parliament. Um, we are minutes away, I think, half an hour away, 45 minutes away to the Talk TV slash Sun Tory leadership debate. And I've got some update because I don't know if you guys watched the, the debate last night. Uh, there was a bit of a, obviously, heated debate between Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak. Uh, but one of the questions was about uh, Ukraine and foreign policies. And until now, we've had, obviously, all the leadership candidates and the government in general. I'm going to have to run. There we go. Uh, talking about how they're obviously supporting Ukraine, blah, 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 blah the usual stuff. But uh, when Liz Truss was asked whether she is in favor of a NATO intervention in Ukraine, she actually said no. She said uh, she's not really in favor of uh, um, intervening directly in Ukraine. Let me just put the clip on for you guys in case you didn't see it. Right. I am not prepared for the United Kingdom to become directly involved in the conflict. Well, that was uh, Liz Truss. Uh, confirming that she, she doesn't really want to um, intervene. I mean, this is all the criticisms that she got recently um, because she was foreign secretary. A lot of people were saying that, well, that means she's hawkish. Of course, I mean, to be fair, they're all similar. They're all the same when it comes to the establishment. Uh, they all have to obey to the current system, the, um, the foreign office, their direction. Uh, and in America, uh, White House and Pentagon, um, they all have to go with the same uh, message anyway, but it's good to kind of hear uh, more vocally that you know she's, she's not just going to listen to uh, the, the current narrative and rhetoric that we are ready to go in uh, and kind of on the ground with the troops and everything else. There have been enough people, especially in the Democratic establishment in America, uh, close to the White House, who have been advocating for this, which is slightly dangerous. Uh, and that was, the, I think, the biggest problem that we've uh, been seeing. Um, I think the live chat is coming up now, finally, I can't because I can't really see um, on this app that I'm using, unfortunately. I'm just, this is, I'm trying to use the uh, different apps to see which one's the best one for <laughs> live streams on YouTube. If you have any suggestions, let me know what apps you might be using. Uh, but yes, I mean, the, the main problem is tonight, I'm expecting a better debate in terms of the questions and the discussions because uh, last night, the BBC as usual, focused on the gossipy parts of it. Uh, they focused on the candidate's fashion sense, <laughs> yes, which was a bit unnecessary. They focused a lot on uh, uh, what you said before, uh, what you think of the prime minister, what you think of this, that, blah, blah, blah. But uh, it will be good to kind of see some actual proper policy debate, um, especially on uh, not just economics, not just taxation, but what's going on with the, with the Dover border. Uh, the border crisis, national security, no one's really talking about that. I'm not expecting any of them to actually talk about uh, the grooming scandal. <laughs> Don't have high hopes. Um, see what's going on here, actually. It's a bit of a protest as usual in Westminster. There's always something going on on a daily basis. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not really expecting any uh, uh, proper discussions on uh, some of the scandals that we are facing. Um, whether it's the grooming one, whether it's the, 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 the border security. Uh, but I, I do want them to actually talk about it rather than just say, oh, we, we're supporting the Rwanda plan. We're going to continue the Rwanda plan. Come up with a proper policy idea and it will help. Uh, because so far, uh, Rishi Sunak publishing a 10-point plan, I think, on uh, illegal migration is slightly misleading and a waste of time. Uh, it's simply just narrative. Nothing is going to actually be done about it. Some of the areas they're focusing on is just not really relevant. But again, for those people who just joined the, the live stream kind of late, I'm going to show you the, the clip that we had from last night uh, when Liz Truss was asked whether uh, the UK and NATO should intervene directly in Ukraine. This is what she had to say. Right. I am not prepared for the United Kingdom to become directly involved in the conflict. Well, yes, so that was once again uh, Mary Elizabeth Truss, uh, the leadership candidate, who uh, vocally said that despite the fact that she's foreign secretary, that she doesn't really want to have NATO intervention. There's been enough intervention anyway, so uh, they're going to continue to send support and all the taxpayers' money and everything else. 
Uh, but it's a bit of a risk trying to escalate the situation even further. There's enough problems right now. I think we have to look after our own people first and then see where we are. I'm currently outside Parliament. Talk to if there's anyone I can interview. Everyone's basically going to get ready for their, their leadership their talk TV slash sun. Uh, um, but yeah, so we are where we are with the situation. And uh, I'm going to let you guys go because I thought I'd just do a last minute quick uh, live stream. Let's just see if I can read some of the comments before I actually go. So, can I actually read that? I, I don't understand how this works, by the way. There we go. <laughs> um, St. Putin, Ukraine isn't even a democracy. It's a corrupt country. Uh, we have uh, Perry King saying, except we are uh, directly involved uh, with all the stuff that we're sending. And uh, Scooby Doo says, there will never be another Maggie Thatcher, unfortunately. That's a sad thing. And I think that's a good point, by the way, about uh, not really having another Maggie because, I mean, I, I, I love her legacy and you know, I still disagree with some of the policies, that's irrelevant. But this time, both candidates are trying to out Maggie each other, saying, oh, I'm more of a Thatcherite, I'm more of a Thatcherite. Why not trying to introduce trustism or Sunakism, whatever that means? Try to be your own person. Try to, Margaret Thatcher didn't stand in 79 on the platform of, I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that person that you had 100 years ago. I'm going to be that. Because it, it, it's just, a, it, it's not you. You have to be more organic. You have to be more honest with people um, and actually be your own leader. Uh, Darren Brown says, Conservative Party are a done party. They're done, basically. Um, considering the, the Labour Party are still shooting themselves in the foot, Seems like the Tories still have a bit of a chance, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I have no faith in either party right now. I, I, I'm just waiting for some sort of change. I'm waiting for, well, technically I'm waiting for the Conservative Party to become conservative again. Um, because the Labour Party is always a waste of time. And there's no chance on the current system to have any new party really um, taking over. And most smaller parties are either protectionist or socialist. So you're not really gonna have a proper Conservative Party becoming successful anytime soon you, know, you never say never but it is the situation Scooby Doo says reform UK to take a turn I mean that's the thing I mean depends how long we're gonna wait and you can't just completely give up either so that's the, the moral of the story I, I, I'm glad that I just the, the live, live chat finally appeared on my screen because I, I was kind of struggling to see what's going on uh, but yes yeah, so I'm gonna be outside Westminster for a bit I'm gonna I might come back with another quick live stream before going to watch the talk tv debate after the talk tv oh that was close <laughs> after the talk tv debate uh, which starts at 6 p.m i'm gonna come back stay tuned on this channel uh, we're doing a live reaction and i'm gonna sit down actually with my laptop and actually finally read the comments properly uh, get your reaction and we'll just have a have a cup of tea together see who performed better and who should be more worried about uh, just generally speaking when it comes to destroying the country right i'm gonna let you guys go thanks again guys for watching Subscribe to the channel and my TC and read.